No, you didn't interrupt me. I was just about to show my viewing audience. <laughs> that was him. Not, not me. I was about to show people how to take apart and clean one of these. You're just in time to participate and hold the camera if needed. More than likely, I won't need you to hold the, com the camera, but I may. Because <coughs> I can do most of these things with one hand holding a camera. This is a jacquard. It's used to tenderize meat. It has a few dozen razor sharp little knives attached to the end. You put it on the meat and you pound, 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 and it tenderizes the meat. Well, it doesn't tenderize the meat. What it actually does is when when meat when the meat fibers get hot, they they contract. By cutting them, you prevent them from contracting too much and they hold on to more of the uh, juices. Right. So the problem is that, is that running this under the hot water of the faucet doesn't really do the trick to get it clean. And uh, ooh, ouch. it's spring-loaded, which makes it kind of a little bit scary to take it apart. So <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're just going to Take this apart. Notice that part. Notice that there are three screws. One, two, and three. And I this is actually I've done this before. And that's why it's so shiny clean. Because I didn't want to have like a really gross looking, you know, disgusting thing. Alright, so now we're gonna sit here and uh, make sure that the knives are uh, are pointing away from you because they are spring loaded. The whole thing's spring loaded. The knives aren't going to shoot out at you or anything. Don't worry about that. It, it, just you want to 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 break the screws. Get in there and get them all loose. Make sure that you can get them all loose. You don't want to take one off and then have to struggle with another one. Get away from me, you sicky. Go. Don't cough on me. You should be sorry, spreading your viral illness all over the place. All right, let the dog in. All right, so we just have determined that we can loosen all. Oops, all three. Keep a finger on this thing. For now, we've got a screw, so that'll act as our as our finger of sorts. Stop pumping the table. You're shaking the camera. And. go and these screws are they'll come in they'll come in very important later and you want to put it back together again you don't want to lose your screws now I'm taking the final screw out so I want to make sure that I hold on to this as it is it's going to be a little bit under tension finger here and the other finger actually I'm, I'm sorry I'm gonna put one finger here and the thumb here and I'm gonna kind of keep it try to keep it from, from bursting out on me now you can see that everything kind of came loose here it's important that you pay attention to what you're doing at this point because the knives only go in a certain way. Here's the knives. This part right here, this ridge here, notice there's no ridge on this side. This ridge faces up. Up. This one, this piece also has a similar ridge. That one will face down when you put it back together again. Now, if you've been smart, 
you've taken this thing apart and you've kept it together with the springs still intact. Now, the second I let go of this, this would drop down and the whole thing would flip up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screw, such as one of these that I'm chasing, and I'm just going to set it right there like that. And I'm going to lift this up just a little bit, and I'm going to gently set it down. I'm just leaving it just like that without disturbing it because it is spring loaded. And now I can take my knives and I can go wash them. Okay, I've washed my knives. Now I'm back. Now I want to gently grasp a hold of this again. And now I'm holding it. I want to slide knife number one in. Not up. <laughs> Not all the way through like that, but just in until it matches up with the hole. And now I'm going to take spacer number one. Doesn't matter which one you use, they're both the same. And with the ridge facing up, place it in and also align the hole. Knife blade number two in, line up the hole. See? Hole. That's the hole I'm talking about right there. Make sure everything lines up really nicely. Now, spacer number two with the ridge facing down. Actually, you know what? I think the ridge, the ridge should go up on that one. No, it goes down. There we go. It goes down. Ridge down. And knife number three. In and everything's lined up very nicely. And now again, using my both my thumbs on here, gently set this down. Very gently, very, very gently. Now I can take the top piece and I can just set it gently, set it right down. There you go. Take the big screw. Put it in, tighten it down, give, give it a little bit of nice torque there now, take your two fingers, test it, beautiful. Final two screws, remember, if you use both hands, it goes twice as fast. Unfortunately, I only have one screwdriver up here, otherwise I'd screw with both hands. <laughs> Alright, there it is. That's how to uh, disassemble your, and reassemble your jacquard in exactly 8 minutes and 27 seconds. You're welcome.